Wow, I need to sort my beard out. <laughs> Barbers was shut. So, anyway, the reason you came along, it's fit out time. I've gone through multiple different fit outs over the past few years. I've gone from coming in through the rear door, the T5 style kitchen on one side and the bed on the other. I've gone to the side door, which is a far superior setup. Uh, it gives me my seating area, my kitchen area, uh, the bunk on top, it works well. Now, I'm gonna keep almost the same layout. However, this, this layout's getting tired. Um, I put this in when nobody was putting nice interiors in the Land Rovers. They were all going overlandy with aluminium and the flight case type interiors. I did the uh, transporter van type interior seven, eight years ago now, um, and it's been banging. It's been really good. Um, now every man and his dog's doing it. It's, uh, it's time to up my game a bit uh, and refresh this one. So, what we're gonna do, it's time to rip out. The plan of attack is, the fridge is gonna be integrated into the new kitchen right next to the door. Worked up along there, worked up along here, a little bit shorter. Bin the sink off, because I just don't use it. I store dirty cups in it more than anything else. Um, the cooker eventually we'll have over here. A couple of little taller cabinets there. Bin off all this, because we're gonna have the extra storage under there. That's gonna go in a little locker on its own little self-contained area. Um, there's gonna be a little pod there, put the Ridge Monkey stuff in eventually. Reclad all these seat boxes and stuff. Um, and just generally tidy it up because as you can see, like up here, this is where the old overhead rail used to be for the grab handles for the stre uh, stretcher equipment and all the rest of it. Um, and as I've took it out, it's after I've Veltrim this. So there's little tabs, marks, can you, you know, little put you ons and things that I'll do for nows that I want to address. So I'm going to get everything out of here. Uh, I'm going to look at redoing this Veltrim on the ceiling uh, and this boarding and stuff and redo the lighting system. I'm moving the battery bank under the side where the locker door is now. That's going to be the power distribution center and then work from there. So it's not going to be in the perfect order because the perfect order would be retrim all this, redo all the electrics and things and then fit out with the cupboards but it's doing it in a way that in my time off against how other things are coming on. It just it is what it is. It's not my full time job. Right so um, videos are running a bit behind because as you can imagine uh, weekends and nights I've just been messing about with the land bay. Uh, what I've been doing is very very drastic so that's where the battery bank used to be on my random stuff above it that's where the fridge used to be and this was the kitchen what we're having now is we're gonna have the battery bank there all the electrical here with access from outside we're gonna have uh, cupboards and everything here and fridge by the door there and another cupboard there for uh, Ridge Monkey stuff um, tonight's task is to get all this taken out above here um, just generally sweep everything up, get everything tidied. Um, the amount of stuff that I found in the cupboards quite nominal. So yeah. Right, good morning. So what's in for store for today basically i'm having a bit of a tidy up so i've ripped a load of gear out um you're gonna see a bit of footage of me taking everything out what i want to emphasize right from the get-go is uh this company will do everything top to bottom front to back the works what i'm doing is i'm just getting them to do a small portion i'm getting them to do the fine cabinetry, cabinetry work because i don't have the tools the workshop anything like that to do it so don't think that they're doing a rough job because the walls aren't ready, the trims aren't ready, things like that, that's on me. Um, I'm doing it in this way because this is the time slot that I've got for the project that's coming up and how I'm going to do it. It's backwards, I know, there's people out there going to be going, ah, you should have done this bit. I know, I totally, I totally know. So, without further ado, let's get you in, let's show you what we've got and let's have a work round.
to go in front of that. Basically, this is where the door will be. So when this pulls out, you're right in the doorway. So anyone leaning in can just grab a beer. That will close us up. Just put a handle on the bottom of there just for a bit of. In this memory card, is air from the tiles. And on the back of it, you can see here, got all the air vents front and back and everything to keep that cool. Um, you can have the switch panel up here for the lighting and everything. That's going to be where uh, there's going to be a step up to get up from there into the kids' bunk. And then there's a big void on here. And you've seen I've put the locker door on this side. So the two batteries are going to sit there. And what we're doing now, they're the bed boards. Just on here is where we're going to have a little cupboard to put all the Ridge Monkey gear in. So again, everything can be accessed from the door. So what he's doing now on the fly, he's took some measurements of the little Ridge Monkey cupboard, he's measured the door and everything on it, and he's just putting something together now. So there we go, that's going to go just here so we can get everything out the door there. And as you can see, everything's going in at the minute, but I'm going to have to screw it all together properly when I get home, because what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm changing all the floors, you can see I ripped it all out. Um, they've talked me into going all black floor, like a workshop floor. So none of this is getting fastened down at the minute because it's all going to have to be um, tucked back out, floored, and then dropped back down, which will obviously raise everything up a touch. So, yeah. And if you're wondering why it's weirdly edited, I'm having SD card problems. So if there's some real cut and shut bits on the editing, that's why. So there you go, um, well impressed. It's one of them things they've catered to me and what I wanted to do because I didn't want the full fit out and they've just given me the units, roughly put them in place because I'm going to mess about adjusting running cables, running pipes, putting the floors underneath things. So it's yeah, so they've got the pods where you can have your cooker, sink, water, electric, everything in a one and just make a van a bit of a camper. So yeah, that's a nice little option just to put a pod in and they do them all different colours, patterns, you name it. So. I'll put the links below, check them out. So like I say, I'm going to jack this up so this works nice. Um, also put a little bit of a, a pull handle here to pull from low down so there's not too much pressure on the top. Um, these need jacking up a touch as well so we can get the new floor under. Uh, obviously there's a bit of trim there that just needs uh, screw into the steel frame. Uh, that's just the old table that I was measuring up. And then like I say, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming together. New floor to go in, new ceiling to go in, new curtains. Uh, a new splashback and everything and we should be about there so thank you very much uh, if you've watched this far uh, a bit of a random one hopefully with this sd card playing up it's not been too choppy in the edits and all the rest of it so i appreciate your patience on that if you want to support more videos like the like this one obviously there's the patreon and all the rest of it uh, for everybody else if you can give us a like and a comment it's always much appreciated thank you